I'm forced to listen to you now. So go ahead. Go ahead and tell me what's going on. Tell me. Look, man. When you was talking about getting you another car, I was hoping and praying for your boyfriend that you wouldn't go to him and asking him for down payment. And that's exactly what you did. No, he don't need to give it to you. This guy hasn't even engaged you yet. He's not married to you. He don't need to give it to, to you. That is not why he's your boyfriend. He's your boyfriend. He's a boy who is your friend thing. And y'all just trying to get to know each other as friends. Not your fiance. Not your husband. Boyfriend. Boy, your friend thing. You're trying to get to know each other as friend. You try to get to know if he will take care of you. That's not how you get to know. That's not how you get to find out if he's going to take care of you or not. You're trying to take care of yourself here. Okay? And you're being a little too selfish, always draining money out of him. Obviously, he loves you. But let me be real with you as a friend. It's not fair. It's very selfish. You're always draining him. Oh, well. So when, 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 when he goes to your parents and asks for your hand in marriage, your, your, your parents going to want more from him, right? I hope you're telling your parents everything this guy is doing for you. Because at the time before he gets married to you, when they accept him in the family, he shouldn't be, he shouldn't be required to pay any, pay any dowry or do anything extra. Because at that time, you already dream all, dream all his 401k. You dream every savings he had. You always getting money out of this man. If he's not trying to give you the down payment, you're getting pissed off. You're calling me. Why are you calling me? Me, me more talk to him on your behalf. No, I'm not doing that. I don't even know why you're calling me because it may irritating me. It sounds like I may be jealous that you got a man who give you so much money, but no, I'm not. You know, sometimes as a female, you got to try to build yourself so your man can respect you for what you build with your own name, with your own sweat, with, uh, with your own time, with your own commitment, with everything that you have. Okay? But if you always... If you're always behind a man for, for hand downs and stuff like that, I mean, like, come on now. I don't know if he's, if he's, he's really going to respect that because you're just his girlfriend. And down the line, if he run across some females who really got it going and, and, and taking care of her business on top of everything and excelling all by herself, sometimes the brothers need females like that. Females who have what it takes, who already coming with the push, who already got a lot to bring to the table, who already got what it takes to build themselves because they know that female will be able to build them. But as for you, your hand jelly, even your feet, you have your feet out jelly. Hey, your feet out too begging, your hands and your feet. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me all over the place. Just Dreaming every guy you, but since I've known you, since I've known you, every guy you've met, you dream him. And which one of them have ever stayed in your life? You gonna run this one up. If the man don't have the money to give it to you, maybe you should wait till income tax time before you get this guy. Because it's not his obligation. It's not his obligation. Try building yourself, especially that you guys are getting to know each other. You got to prove to this man that you can actually take care of yourself. Because if you can take care of yourself as a girlfriend, he will know that you will be able to take care of his offsprings. You will be able to take care of the home. You will be able to carry the role as a mother uh, and handle all that responsibility. But some of y'all, y'all always got, y'all always got to get, 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 get from the man. If you always want to get, 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 and you feel like a man should always take care of you, that means when a man gets married to you, he will be taking care of you and the kids. Yeah? In, in every way, and you will just be trying to sit around and do nothing. Do nothing. Oh, baby, hey, we don't have the food. Oh, baby, I'm too tired to clean. Oh, baby, I'm too... You, you will be like one of those wives who, when the baby is crying, you wake up your husband. 24-7, ah, babe, it's your time. The man got to get up and go to work, oh, but you're still waking up to go change diaper. After he wakes up, he wakes up, he's tired, he's trying to get some sleep. You still tell him to, look, listen, if you are if, if you are constantly depending on the man, the, yes, it just shows the man that he won't be able to depend on you for you to for you to be the nurturer in the home. You can't carry your own responsibility. How he will believe that you're able to carry the responsibility of a mother in the home? No. 
I'm not I'm not trying I'm not trying to to sound like your mom. I'm not trying to talk down on you. I'm a real friend. I'm just telling you the truth. You have to take it as it is. You drain that boyfriend of yours too much. If you continue, you will lose him just how you lost all your other boyfriends. What is it now? He's not your fiance, he's not your husband. Come on, try to do some things for yourself. Yeah.